Mike's painting's gonna be my version of one of Bob Ross's paintings called uh, Gray Mountain. And the first thing I wanna do is go right into a little kid and yellow. Take that on the brush. And I'm just gonna come out up here and just come across the canvas with this can yellow. Some in here in the water. Up until a very little bit, very little bit of the uh, white red. Come up here, apply the bright red, top of yellow. Be real careful with bright red. Opposite of a tube of this stuff will turn the entire Atlantic Ocean blue. It's a very strong color. Just a little bit more. And then up here, this in the water. Because basically all we're going to do is just reflect all the color from the sky down into our painting. Here. And I'll grab just a tad bit of the bag of wood and the brush. I'll go to the pencil. See if it's over on the brush. And I'll go to the top of the red. This is going to be like a lot of color. And we'll just come back down here and finish it out at the bottom. Get a little lavender for you. Get over here on this side. And now I feel better about the situation. I'm going to come up here in the yellow, just start right across here, just lightly, real lightly, and then you know, it's all these colors together, you can't kill with one stop snow, it starts, just don't kill all your red, and that dark color will eat all of it up, you can leave some of it up there, and then come up here, and we'll start doing the same thing, this time I'm just coming down a little bit, more of the French and the blue mixed together here. I'm going to come up here now. I'm just going to press it here. Just to help me. And check some little cloud colors in Perhaps a little bit. And then we'll come up here. And this side is good. Push it into the canvas and really put pressure on the way. Don't grab just too much pressure. And then we'll come up here. Pull this color. Alright, I got just a little bit of white here. I'm going to bring it down even more quick. I'm going to pick up just a little of this black. I'm going to run into the white. And what I'm looking for is a gray. I'm going to leave it kind of marbled. Or it shows some white in it and some of the black in it. And I'm going to come out of here. Just a little. I'm going to try to come out. I will be coming back over this with a little white, not much. Just a little here and there, just to get some highlights. But for the most part, I want it to stay, stay kind of to the gray side. We start, all I'm going to do now is take some more white and put in this gray that I was using. I'm not going to use just plain white. I'm just going to make the gray that I had a lot whiter. And then I'll put just a little bit of vinyl in there for about now. Just kind of gray it down some more. So I don't want it. I'm going to put a little bit of black in there. Keep 
keep in mind now that, that mountains are just angles. Okay? And what are you doing? Keep that in mind. You don't like pressure here. Now with my lighter gray color, I'm going to come back up here with my darker gray. I'm going to barely touch on this hard gray. In a places. I'm still watching that dark green shade. So, make sure you leave some of that dark gray showing through. Bottom down, it's all we're gonna do. Just bring it down. And this ain't real light taps. Right here. Alright, I got me some more dark color now. And what I'm gonna do is. Brush up here, so I'm pulling this bar out like so. I'm going to do the color, so I touch. What I've got right here is I've got a, a, a pile of paint that is the midnight black, some Van Dyke brown, and sap green mixed together. That's all this is. And all I'm gonna do is take my brush sideways and put it right in the paint. All right, I'm gonna come right in here in this mist between these two mountains. I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna come down, right under this mist, and I'm gonna stop this one about right here. Then I'm gonna come right under it. And just pop that up, just a little short, just a little short pop of the wrist is all it is. I'm gonna pop it up just like that. You get a bit of that gray color on the brush, come right here at the bottom, a little of that gray color on, just create a little mist under these, and come back up here and just pull straight up through all of that. And that'll just kind of lighten a little out. bit of it. And then I'll come about right here this time. Then right there under that mist that we just made. And I'll we'll come down about like that this time, get it a little, little darker. That way you can see the mist up there. Right here, Stop same thing. Just pull that color straight up. All right, I'm gonna take this a little bit more gray again. Right at the bottom of this one. Same thing, tap it right along the bottom. Cut color up. Just pulling that white right up into it. That's all we're doing, all that gray. Just right into it up here again. Right under the mist we made. I'm gonna bring it down. And we're gonna make it a little shorter. Like so. Alright, we're gonna come up here and we're gonna get us just a little bit of the cad yolk. Give this one a little bit of just a little bit of highlight. Just so we can start seeing that. That color in it, like it's getting closer to us now. Just like that. Now we're going down into the white, this time instead of up. And we'll pull up again. This time we're pulling that highlight color in. We're going to come right under that, that highlight color this time. We're going to pull these up again. Little, little small trees. All we're doing, we're going to come right back up here into my yellow again. And we'll get just a little of the sap green. Come right up here under this. And this is going to be a lot more green and yellow mix. It's going to look more like grass this time. 
Like this little foot here, way closer to us. Now this time it actually made the trees look a little closer too. See how they got a darker line of trees there? But they're getting a little closer to us, so they're supposed to be. This one right here, tree. Right here. Evergreen trees. I'm sure they come down. Why we want to get? Start running out of paint. Flip your brush over. Start using the other side. And then, when you come down, start pressing harder and harder. You can bring it just a little bit white now. Bring it over here. And this is just white. Alright, I'm coming up here. Do a little, do a little water line back in here. Like the water just you know, goes back in here. Okay. And this thing right here. What I'm doing is with the brush down at an angle, using just the corner of the brush, come up here and touch. And then start working out from the center. And then the further you come down, the more you go to push it, the harder you push. Flip the brush over. Just keep some more paint. And just, just keep working. The further you come down, the harder you push. This is just black and green with a little brown in it. That's all it is. Black. Now with the brush down at an angle, you want to come up and just touch. And just start. With just a corner of the brush. Just pushing from the middle, from the middle out. That's all I'm doing. From the middle out. So get down to about right there. And I'll do a little, a little crooked one right here. The one that looks like it's going to fall over. And do the water. I'm going to pick up a one inch brush now. And I'm going to come up here in the same exact color that I was just using. And this one's going to come up here in the trees. And pull out just a little. Maybe a couple of bushes or something. Right across here. Not like that. And then right under this. Just come right up here. Pull the color down. Not like so. We'll do the same thing over here. And then we tap us on some, some dark color. That's all we done. Put a couple little, little bushes or whatever up here. And just Tap it across like so, and I'll come out up here. Now you start putting some of this color down now. Let's see here, like so. Straight down. All right, now with a clean dry two-inch brush, we we'll come up here, and just real lightly brush across, and then the same thing on this side. Real lightly brush across. Right, I'm going to grab some of the Van Dyke Brown now. I'm going to come right up here under the, under the little land we created. I'm going to pull in a little, a little of this Van Dyke Brown. I'm just pulling it in at an angle here. Just like so. Just to give our, our little land here something to stand on. Just at a little angle. 
Pull across up here. Because if you come up here and pull it straight down, it's gonna look like a cliff. Mm -hmm. Come up here, my yellow. Right, come up here now. A little highlight up here. On these little bushes. Right, so that's all we're looking for. Just little subtle, little subtle color changes. It don't take much. On this side here, up here, there's so the indication of a pretty little bush. A pretty little bush. And just come, on, come across here and start tapping on some of the color under here. You know, be a, be a kind of a reflection of what you're seeing up top, that's all. You want to come up here and just barely touch this color. I mean barely. And just pull it straight down. Snap and you come back across. Very light. Now take your knife, get you a little bit of your dark sienna now, bring it down here, get your little yellow open put in it, a little white put in it. Just looking for a light color. Barely touching, by putting snow on the mountain. Here's my touch. Let's get that paint. Right, right off the knife, into the water. A little bit of the white. Over here. Let's see my little, little water line under here. Put us in a couple little, little ripples across here, just in a few places. A little white. We'll come on this side now. There's another little water line. There's some shovel. Some green. So we'll brush it up. Uh, this is just white and brown mixed together. Then each tree, just touch on the indication right here of a little trunk in these trees. And just when it touches that other paint, it just sticks to it. And it's just pulling it right off. Just like so. Come up here now. Come up to the tops. You can set that little, that little peak. Everybody likes on these trees. Here and get some more green, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of the okra over in here. Won't hurt a thing. Even a little bit of Indian yellow. Mix all these colors together right here. Come up here now and just start touching on your highlights. Real, you know, real light touch. Maybe get darker at the bottom and just leave that dark space above the little bushes. Now bring your highlights all the way down to them. I think it'll work out real good for you. All right, over here on this side, same thing. Maybe get darker and darker as you work down. Just touch on some highlight. That's all we're doing. Maybe get darker and darker as you come down. Just like that. Mm -hmm. We did these little foothills coming down. It makes them look like they go back into the back behind these trees. So it gives this like a like a depth. 